Incorporating facet geometry in your design workflow has typically meant a conversion process into surfaces and solids to support modeling operations. The reverse engineering workflows necessary to make the conversion are often slow and require a fair amount of skill to get a good result. MX11 introduces a brand new modeling paradigm called convergent modeling technology, where you combine working with facets, surfaces, and solids without the need for any conversion. Convergent modeling technology also supports many of the new manufacturing processes, such as 3D printing or additive machining. Let's take a look at convergent modeling technology in action with a simple demonstration. Working with scanned data is becoming very common in the medical industry, especially when designing implants for the individual. In this particular example, we will take a scan of the skull and see how we can directly use it to create a cranial implant. We start by importing an STL file of the skull. Next, we generate a sketch. That's basically the profile for the patch. Now for the really clever bit. By using convergent modeling technology, we are able to interact directly with the faceted geometry. Here we use the sketch we created to subdivide the skull. We can then use the extrude command to actually generate the patch itself, noting that the body it creates is a facet body in NX11. Once we have our desired shape and depth, we can then use other typical NX modeling tools, such as offset, to make a subtle change to the patch, remembering all the time that this is working directly on faceted geometry. Typically, these cranial implants or patches have holes in them to affect drainage and to encourage healing. So let's take a look how we can create these in our patch. First of all, let's create a sketch of one of the holes. And then what we may want to do is to pattern those holes within the boundary of the sketch. Finally, we'll extrude the sketch and the pattern geometry, make sure it protrudes through our patch, and then subtract directly from the faceted body. The other beauty about convergent technology is that there's a level of associativity. So again, if we make a change to our original patch profile, then the faceted body and all the actions that were performed on the faceted body would update. This is just one example where convergent modeling technology, new in NX11, can speed up the design process when working with faceted geometry. Look out for further examples of the new convergent modeling technology in NX11 over the next few weeks.